You're good, Banana. Banana is going to uh, swap out here. Um, however, we will have this winner semis match going on soon. Uh, let's see if Tanark is going to go Rob or he's going to go Fox. I feel like he's going to go Fox because Rob has a tough time against Palutena. And there he goes. He picks the Fox. Um, let's switch to the game screen here. And he's going to go Palutena. Uh, Rob does have a big, a lot of trouble with Palutena, so it makes sense that he's going to go a more. He's going to go a. a uh, he's going to play a character who has more options than what Palutena can offer. Very, very uh, fast-paced neutral so far. Mage got a hit but missed the the grab. Gets the down throw fair. Tanar, the up tilt. Very close so far. Air fair from uh, Mage there. Nice down air off the ledge. Up to the ledge to give himself stage control, but Mage easily responding. Dash attack from Mage. Gets the back throw, causing him to play off stage. And Mage just constantly able to pressure Tanark off ledge. But Tanark is also answering with a few punishes of his own. Gets a jab block down tilt into an up air. Good combo there from Tanark. Racking up the damage really well, able to answer to all the damage he was just dealt himself. Gets an up B. That was actually an insane read coming from Tanark. Sometimes those kind of plays can really catch players off guard, so it's really easy for people to fail to that. But Mage isn't having that one. He's definitely going to get the down throw up there. there. Air string there from Mage. Hey, they told me to go on commentary. <laughs> How's it going? Good. What's your tag? Uh, my tag is Lemma. How about you? Uh, oh, yeah, we played, right? Yeah, we, we played earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was a good set on our part. Um, but yeah, so Tanark and, uh, Tanark and Mage have had a pretty close set. Uh, Tanark was able to answer earlier, uh, and they traded stocks. Um, oh, however, you know, Mage has consistently been able to apply the shield, the, uh, the stage pressure and the stage control. So Tanark has had to work a little bit harder to get the strings and find an opening on Mage's uh, Palutena. Because Palutena can just create walls with Nair and back air, so it can be really difficult right, to get right. it. Is Mage like a newer player here? I don't so, so he, I haven't been is, here for a while. Yet. This is his first PR season. He's shown He's oh. been here for about two to three months. Oh, I, I see. Believe, I believe his first tournament was Soul Smash. Right, right, right. So just back in uh, October. Um, but he has been just running through people, constantly, consistently getting top eight. Very skilled Palutena Inkling player. Nice to see so many players. Of course, yes. Especially talented ones like Mage and Thomas Twin, who neither are unranked, but soon will be. I'm confident about that. Tanark whiffing the F smash, but gets the up smash out of shield. Putting Mage in a disadvantage state. Very close here. Nice back air here. They just rack up the damage. Oh, Tanark trying to fish for another upbeat. He actually hit Mage with one earlier, calling out oh, the teleport to ledge. Wow, Tanark with the call out saying, you cannot take over this stage. This stage is mine. And Mage answering right back. Once again, trading stocks. They're both at zero last stop game one. This is a very tense game. Dash attack, misses the up tilt. Mage gets the footstool. Nice up air strength from uh, Tanark there. Parry the oh, up smash, nice gets parry. nared four tilt. Nice, yeah, really good with those parries. And par parrying on Fox is super good at considering his extremely fast frame data. Absolutely. Um, so he has so many options out of the parry that it can be really easy for Tanark to uh, punish people. Another, another F tilt to fair, oh, down tilt gets the two tilt. frame. That kill? Oh my gosh, he almost got the uh, the down tilt there. He's just a few frames late. There's only a one frame window on that spike, so it can be really difficult to hit that. It might not be one frame. Not know that. Uh, it might be actually a little bit more of a time frame. I believe it might be like three to four. The point um, is, it's hard to get. The point is, yes, it is very, very slow. Oh, which wow. is why people go for the down. Tilt. That was a two frame, right? That was. Um, Mage was able to get the down tilt. Palutena's down tilt is one of the best two framing tools in the game. It's very consistent. It has a lingering hitbox. I has see. good range. Most characters that uh, try to snap to ledge, especially with someone like Fox who slightly goes above before he snaps, um, it can easily two frame them. Um, so, and it can convert into an F tilt, which is one of her kill moves. So it can be really easy for for uh, for Palutena to two frame some players, especially especially characters with more linear recoveries like Fox, 
Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, Mage playing, both both players playing very well this set so far. It will be game two. It's a good set. Ten, uh, Tenark decided to go to FD here. Um, he could play a little safer here. He, uh, Palutena doesn't have the platforms to really operate um, as well. So her combos are a lot more limited without those platforms. Um, but Mage doesn't care. He's still able to rack up that damage and have a significant lead on Tanark here. Gets the forward throw into the F tilt. Um, Wish the F tilt. Tanark getting the shine. Oh, and wow, then gets again. a down tilt back here too, Frank. That's going to be a close kill. Fox being extremely light um, and having such a linear recovery can easily just... Oh, that was a nice yeah. conversion there. That was a great angle too. And Fox. so those, those up tilts actually worked. Um, they might have been true in Palutena since she's a uh, heavier and a bigger character. Um, but yeah. usually, can, uh, traditionally, those, those up tilts do not work that way. But he was still able to convert out of that and uh, racking up some damage. But Mage's answer, oh, nice, nice shine. shine, for sure. Shine's a very good combo breaker that uh, a lot more foxes need to utilize. Try to get the run behind, but Mage saw it coming. Nice side beat there. Not to recover here. Mage decided to go for an auto reticle instead of a down tilt. Um, so Tanark was able to recover. Nice down smash there. Mage definitely put in a tough position. He is in kill percent, but yet again, so is Fox. Mage definitely um, controlling this game for sure. Not really caring about the lack of platforms. Nice fastball back here. From uh, from Tenark there, definitely gonna have to at least take that stock. You got to get on the board somehow. Um, and Tenark, good dash attack conversions, fantastic dash attack conversions to rack up the damage and apply a lot of pressure on a Palutena. Because um, some some characters can actually do a lot, uh, apply a lot of pressure to Palutena. Um, gonna miss the down tilt. He throws. He, he recovered. That was very smart by Tenark because he threw it into the stage so it'd be slower up, so he would whip the down tilt. There again, he tries it, but it misses, and Mage was able to get the down tilt. Couldn't take the stock. Tanark very quickly was racking up that damage, and that was a good stock for him. He lived to 153 before losing his stock. Now he's on his turn, uh, his, uh, his set stock here, but he's definitely looking to put Mage on his game stock as well. So That was a good conversion, but Mage saw it coming, so he held his shield. It's good down wow. smash. I think Palutena's going to be dead from that. Yep, Palutena's dead. Wasn't able to recover high there because Tanark with the uh, the upbeat pressure. The side B recoveries are kind of working out for Tanark. They are. Um, yes, Mage has not been able to really punish them. Like, he either drops shield to try and go for a down tilt, or he misses the down tilt altogether because Tanark is going so high. Um, good oh, conversions here. It's the flurry jab. That's very good. That's one of the easiest ways for Fox to rack up a ton of damage. Oh, nice. Keep it, keep it going. Until Pharaoh is very good there. Back throw. Again, the side B. Oh, he well, he could have gone for an upper there, but I think he predicted Mage to uh, go for an air dodge, so he, he wanted to play more conservative. Down smash whiffs, but Mage is not able to punish it. Now Mage is on his ropes here. Does get that, and the fair. The fair is going to come out. It's not going to oh. hit him. The Nair is going to hit too, and oh, that wow. actually kills him. Must have wow. Been bad DI or something. And that's going to be the set. Tenark going down. 2-0. No, I believe, I believe this is uh, the, oh, the best, is this of five, best of five, right? Is this best I of five? I believe so. Uh, yeah, it looks like yeah. it. they're not they're not done yet. So apparently it is best of five now. Um, so that is good. Uh, Tanark down 2-0 uh, to Mage's Palutena. Um, Tanark going back to FD. It did work better for him. It uh, did. He did get it a lot closer and actually brought it back for a bit before getting Yeah, the last stop was a bit of a comeback from me. So it it kind was. I was thinking, like, I just got to, like, Put it together. Yeah, Mage together. did. Mage was starting to kind of choke there. Uh, oh, Janark okay. was able to pressure him a lot. And then Mage said, wait a second. Uh, I'm Palutena. I have so many edge guarding tools. I just get you off stage. And then just, uh, I'm just able to pressure you off stage. Uh, Tanark uh, definitely racking up the damage here. Getting a good edge guard from him. Missing the, uh, the up again. Could we get a zero to death from Tanark here? Oh, oh, very good conversion. Oh, the commentator curse. Up smash. But he does get the jab lock up smash. Very good play by Tanark. He's a full he stock ahead. Mage going to have to work super hard to bring this back. He's definitely doing it. Got him off stage. Uh, Tanark was able to answer and is starting to rack up his own damage. 
Oh, Tanark with a Wait. wonderful mix up there. Unfortunately, yeah, Mage saw it coming. Out, but... Mage was definitely able to respond properly. Tanark is definitely pressuring super well. I feel like oh, Tanark. Yeah. He, just, he has those like moments where he just waits and goes in with the grab. He's playing patiently. Patience is one of the best yeah. parts about uh, improving. Patience is definitely something yeah. that's needed, and Tanark definitely is showing that he has a lot of it after being down 2-0. Uh, this is the town tilt. Tanark again throwing his upbeat into the stage, so he'll he'll ride the ledge. Almost gets that down smash. He was a couple frames too late. Regardless, he still has the pressure, and he's still uh, a full stock ahead of me. Right there, just Tanark holding on the center stage. Ooh, and there. Get it back Tanark's really well. still living, though. Fox has such good distance. As linear as his recovery is, it's still got a lot of distance to it. Tanark trying to fish for that upbeat, trying to get, get Mage off the ledge there. Let's see if Tanark's going to be able to make it back. He gets the down tilt, but the shine stall really helps Tanark survive there. Actually manages to hit Mage. Mage oh. gets the counter. That was a wonderful play there. Mage looking oh, for something. I B. think he was expecting a fair or a bear back here, and he gets the back here he expected, except this time it's taking his stock. All right. He gets he to trade, but he's still. He's a ton with that first stock, so looking very good for Tanark. Wonderful play by Tanark to this game. Tanark definitely was able to uh, convert super well in many situations and pressure Mage. Now Mage is starting, start, starting to show a little bit of weakness. Tanark's able to capitalize off of it. But I mean, man, Mage has been racking up that damage. He's, he's been doing a lot of damage unanswered. Tanark and starting to answer that damage, getting a couple of neutral mix-ups. And oh. he gets an early stock, and that is crazy. That a great Mage, read of the drift with that up there. Mage was behind kill. this entire game, and now it's looking like yeah. it's in his favor. Tanark starting to make some mistakes, and Mage just able to capitalize off of them with those nair strings into the fair. This is the auto reticle, but he gets the dash. Tanark's got to keep it together. Tanark needs, yes, that's correct. He needs, he needs to keep his composure, oh, and he gets great. the backer. That's not going to be great it. Great DI. He oh. gets the, that's it. He got the shine. Mage Beautiful. lost the melee shine. game three. Yes, wonderful, wonderful play here. Tanark taking game three over Mage. So it will be now two to one. Wonderful right. play by Tanark that game. You can really tell he had the momentum there. He was really able to capitalize off of, off of a lot of the mistakes that Mage was making. So it really, Mage wasn't really able to respond. He did get him to his last stock, and it did look like it, things were starting to swing in his favor. But unfortunately, Tanark said, no, I'm definitely going to take this game and contest a game four. Yeah. And so that's, what, that's what's happening right now. So what do you think is the rationale behind the stage pick and went to Town and City? He picked Town and City. Uh, well, Palutena benefits off of Town and City. That's arguably her best stage second to Battlefield. Some say that it's better than Battlefield because the platforms that come in and out, especially the ones off the ledge, she can she can nair combo very well. She can do up air strings and she can juggle very well. Um, her edge guarding is also very good because people try and use. Sometimes people will try and use those top those platforms on the left and right that you see um, to kind of avoid a ledge trap situation. But Palutena has her up oh, smash, right, which right, goes right. right through that. Oh, yeah. um, so Good she can point. definitely capitalize off of that as well. There's just so many things Palutena has on this stage that really benefit her. Um, and Mage trying to close out the set here. Um, definitely going for the counter pick here. Now, Fox doesn't too, do too bad on this stage either. He can... He can do a lot of very good off, um, offensive uh, tools. He has a lot of good offensive tools on this stage. And since the stage has so much room, he can carry people and do a lot of strings. Um, however, Palutena does benefit better, so we will see how Tanark answers that. I don't know about the side Bs. Like, Mage has been really catching on to those, nice and he gets that kill right there. That was a nice fair. Um, but Tanark definitely able to look for his damage himself. He's not giving up this. He's not going to let Mage t run away with this stock that he's um, so Tanark yeah. definitely oh, nice beautiful. there reverse up smash, fantastic Classic. conversion. Flash com uh, Fox combo. It's a very good conversion that Fox has. Um, one of his one of his best and most tilting for sure. Definitely something that'll get in a lot of players' heads because it is just it's it's a very frame tight input, um, and so there will be times where you can tech out of it, and sometimes where shine. you're just gonna get hit. Yeah. Um, that was a good shot. Um, definitely able to break out of. Mage's combos oh, there. Wow. Gets the down tilt. Down tilt uh, fair is a very good edge guarding tool that we've seen Mage utilize multiple times. Nice forward throw to get him off stage. Almost go, trying to go for the shine spike there, but he's not going to get it. Kind of fighting for stage control here. 
Tanar definitely able to put on some pressure easily with Fox's speed. Mage looking for the explosive flame. It's the F tilt, and that's going to be it. Yeah. I think Tanart got a little greedy with that side beat going right to Mage, not risky. considering his tilts and his smash attacks that he has at his disposal. It's a nice up air conversion from Tanart. Let's see if he's able to answer that stock with his with uh, taking Mage's stock. Nice F smash, but, it, but Mage saw it coming. Nice, nice reads. Tanart's definitely trying to set him up. Nice fall, fastball back here. Wow, last stock again. It's a very close set. Tanark's playing well. Um, Mage is definitely able to yeah. hit his conversions, but Tanark is also able to set him up and condition him in a certain ways. That was a, that was a good use of side B there, of able to avoid the auto reticle to prevent himself from getting gimped. But now he's got to kind of play a different kind of game here. He's got to play a lot more defensive, especially since he's in kill percent. That was a good parry. Almost got his conversions. Ooh, that Nair almost killed him. Oh, oh wow. he barely snapped. That was a max range upbeat like from Tanark. That was like the last pixel it could have been. Good conversions there. Tanark oh. able to rack up that damage. Let's see what he can do with it. Mage. Mage gets the down oh. tilt fair, and that's going to be the set. Tanark falling to Mage 3-1. That counter pick worked out very well for Mage. He was definitely anticipating that, and he benefited off of it. Tanark was, was put in a lot of situations where he wasn't really able to, uh, he wasn't really able and to uh, put, do what he wanted. Palutena had control of that absolutely. game. Absolutely, well. and the Palutena edge guards were just really clean this set, and that last stock just encapsulated sort of the story of this set. I think it was the, it the was a to fair. Yeah. It was very well played by both players, um, and uh, next we should have. I want to say we we will have um, one of the losers' quarters going.